video I'm going to be doing top 3 photo apps of February 2018. So let's look at them. First up will be Miyano. So as you go the app will be connected to a select which is what you want to edit. And you can add stuff like text which is pretty easy to do. And after adding or typing those text, you can add neon colors to those texts as you wish and you can invert them and change their rotation to whatever degrees you wanted to and the size of them and you can also align those steps as well then you can add stuff like shape circles sunglasses and their size as well to make it look a bit minimal and borders as well if you wish and you can add, add simple nuance and gradient to those colors and you can also change the size of how those colors will be displayed in the layers it will be an erasure tool as well for you to use those colors and so forth the colors and after that you can adjust contrast so far we are done but we just click that save button which is located to the bottom right and you can check whatever you want and that is it number one of this will be neon which is available on both iOS and Android neon is really great for to app to edit neon colors if your person is into dramatic photos you should check that out number two on the list will be lens distortion as soon as you enter lens distortion click anywhere to select the photo you wish to edit and after selecting that photo you'll be greeted with the different distortions from spotlights to uh, rain colors light hits and fogs it all depends on what you want to be under the be shimmer and some legacy which creates blurs in your photos. So these are DSLR quality effects that you can add artificially. Um, you can just drag it across to whatever you want it to. Uh, my favorite will be the Pearson Light Hits. I even use this a lot. Even my current robot boat has this. And just drag it to whatever you want. Basically, and it's simple as that to use. And when done, you can save it to your device or share it whatever you want. And that will be it. And this app is Android but it's currently on the list on the Play Store. And that is it for Distortion. And Distortion is a nice app for making your photos look dramatic and adding a bit of a goosebump feel to your photos and makes a simple photo look like it was taken on a DSLR camera. I even use this photo from my profile photo class on my social media. Last on the list will be app for type. App for type, how simple it is, it's a pretty cool app to use and you can chop stuff like fonts and phrases or hashtags that people post both free and paid and their stuff like a Valentine surfing and you can select whatever pack you want and just hit that download button and it will download that pack for you it doesn't take very long and you can open it and use it in whatever photo you wish to use or if you don't have a photo you can simply take a photo but you have to give access to your camera so it's going to be simple as just taking that photo with your own camera app and after that you'll be prompted to the edit section where you can edit your fonts or create your own fonts there are a wide variety for you to choose from and you have to double tap to edit those fonts and you also have the downloaded text that you would download from the shop inside the app 
and you can also edit these if you wish to as well. Uh, these fonts are pretty nice and cool. They even set up professional advertisers and photographers use that which they clean. There are many colors to choose from dark to very light colors. And the colors are not too bad, but I think they can use it more. And you can easily change the opacity to your liking. There's also going to be an eraser and brush which can erase on any part of the text. After all said and done, you can always go and save by um, tapping that download button there or share to Instagram and you can also share to whatever social media you have and that is it for After Tech. Apple Type is a pretty good app if you're a person that likes to add pretty cool text to your photos, so I recommend it. So that is it for the top 3 photo apps of February 2018. You can check them all out. I will leave a link in the description. And so that is it, Tech Guy signing out. See you guys in the next one. Bye.